Hi. <laughs> so I just spent um, the car ride home from delivering kids to school for first day of school, ranting into my phone camera um, about a topic. And then I got home. It didn't record. <laughs> I'm so upset. But it's okay. Um, so this will be the same topic, but with less in not enthusiasm, less passion, less anger, because I've had time to calm down. But uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, other people's reactions to my body over the years. Um, I don't know how many of you who are going through the same issues with as, as me, um, being morbidly obese and seeking to lose uh, a lot of weight via bariatric surgery, but I... Um, I got involved with the fat loving community a few years ago, found websites, um, and was not only accepted for my giant body, but adored and, uh, people were attracted to me and I was getting a lot of positive attention and I actually became very comfortable in my own skin. Um, comfortable with the way I looked, comfortable with the way I presented myself. I was still uncomfortable trying to drive the car, uncomfortable trying to fit into a movie theater seat, uncomfortable when I needed to walk a long distance. Um, none of those things changed, but I did feel attractive for a period of time. And then just like uh, when I was incredibly thin, it began to get old because I was being given attention based on my body, not my personality, not uh, my good deeds, not my talent with yarn, um, but my meat suit. Um, and then the straw that broke the camel's back and I kind of shied away from that um, community was uh, the feeders. I'm not sure if you guys have any experience with that. The um, fat loving community, they're called FAs, fat admirers. There's a ton of them and they are into everything that society has says is wrong with an obese body. The fullness, the roundness, the jiggliness, the stretch marks, um, the weight, the heaviness. And then there are the feeders and those people will try to encourage you to gain weight um, tell you how much prettier you would be if you had more chins um, and I was upset by that because those people are encouraging people into disability basically the goal of a feeder hmm, I can't speak for all of them the majority that I met and the research that I've seen online is to make a person as large as possible um, so that they're totally dependent upon the feeder and that's their ultimate sexual satisfaction is this maximizing the weight of a person and I had been friends with someone for a while and then found out that he was a feeder and it was upsetting <laughs> because uh, I hit a point where I realized this was never going to be enough. I was never going to be thin enough for some people, healthy enough for others, tall enough for others, um, fat enough for even other people. And that's it's a hard thing to accept but then again once you realize that it's like there is no point there is no point trying to shape my body to please anyone else there's no point trying to dress my body to please anyone else there is no point doing anything physical to impress or please or draw or keep anyone else so I said a big F you to that 
and now it's I feel very empowered because I'm doing this is mine and I'm gonna do with it as I please I'll tattoo it if I want I'll shave this if I want and dye it orange I'll stick ostrich feathers up my butt and walk down Main Street if I want and I will also have surgery in order to lose weight no matter what anybody thinks about it because it is my choice it is my body and this was so much better on the other video I was very coherent and had a good train of thought going and now I feel kind of disjointed but I do date the people that I date um, are into big women bigger the better so I've spoken with one of them the one I date most frequently I probably go out with him two or three times a month told him my plans and I think he was disappointed I know he was disappointed but for himself he's very into health and fitness he's a very very fit person uh, and so he understood that I want to live I want to live to be very old and I want to live happily and comfortably I want to do whatever I don't want to be limited by my weight I want to climb a mountain ride a roller coaster rule the world and so he was understanding I don't know if he'll continue to date me we'll see I haven't told uh, the two others that I see um, guys just because I haven't seen them in a while one of them it's not going to go over well at all and that's fine you know it was a blast thanks for you know all the dates but you'll have to move on because I'm not going to make a choice based on anyone else I'm still logging food I am still off carbonation and um, I'm taking in a lot of calories I'm logging now just to see what I take in and I've already um, made a couple of better choices just because I knew I was gonna have to write it down it might be embarrassing <laughs> even though I'm the only person reading it might be embarrassing to say wow that's two slices of cake no don't do that because then you'll have to write it down <laughs> I'm gonna call this morning and make a couple of appointments I have to make an appointment with the uh, I have to get a cardiac clearance and I have to get uh, an upper GI so I gotta make those appointments and um, I wonder if there are more people at the very beginning like myself maybe you're watching and you haven't made any videos you're just doing research um, leave me a comment send me um, an email my email is sleeve mcqueen at gmail.com um, just say hi I'm watching a lot of the videos of those of you that have finished your journey I don't want to say finished um, you're at goal or you're close to goal um, those are invaluable videos seeing all the steps that you've gone through and the struggles and the successes those are invaluable to me and I'm subscribed to a lot of you guys but I I would like to bump into a few more people that are at the beginning with me because I think it'd be cool to have some people that are kind of at the same stage as me to go through it with but so far my searches really haven't brought up too many of those and I'm guessing it's because they don't have a lot of views or subscribers so they're not coming up first in the search results so it's it's been a little bit hard that any of you older more experienced people if there are like message boards forums things like that that I could maybe pop into to try to locate some more people at the beginning um, I'd love that information um, other than that thank you kids went back to school today <laughs> I'm free for a few hours and do my happy dance um, and I will talk to you soon thanks bye bye